Hello children, I hope you are all happy and strong. Welcome to this special English hour. Do you know what is so special about today? Today is the first day of your 8th standard and I am very happy to welcome you all. Here every day we will learn something new in a fun and interesting way. Are you ready? Then come, let's get started. My name is Janessa and I will be your teacher. Children, now I would like to ask you a few questions. Let us share our thoughts and ideas. I would like to begin by showing you a video. It has a wonderful story and a wonderful message. Please have a look at the video and after that we will take our discussion forward. If you want to achieve anything in life, the very first step is to dream it. You need to believe in yourself. Do you think MS Dhoni would be where he is today if he did not believe in himself? It all begins with your ability to make that dream come true. No matter how many challenges come your way, no matter what people say, if you keep trying, you will succeed. You will live your dream. Did you like the video? How did you feel after watching the video? The video was all about believing in yourself and in your dream. It is said that when you visualize, you think constantly of what you dream and you believe in yourself that you can do it, dreams do come true. Whatever you work hard for, whatever you believe in, that does bear fruit. Did the video motivate you? Did it fill you up with energy? Yes, these videos are very important and not just these videos, but stories about people all around us are very important as they motivate us. They make us believe that like them even our dream can come true if we believe in ourselves. If we can believe in ourselves and the fact that our dream can be a reality, it will one day surely come true. While learning a language, it's very important to keep learning new words. I would like to now introduce a few new words to you. I would request you to please note them down in your notebook. The lesson that we will be reading today will have these words. You can try to guess their meaning when we come across these words in the lesson. Let's begin with the first word. Cherish. Cherish, cherish, aging, 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 
believe 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 stardust 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 nurturing 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 so the new words that we learn today are cherish aging believe stardust and nurturing i hope you have noted them down we will have a look at them when we come across them in the lesson children i hope you all liked the video we just saw it was about believing in ourself and it was about motivating ourselves today we have a poem a time to believe by b j mobidza come let us read it together if you have a textbook please open to page number 2 and point to the words as we read if you don't have a textbook please listen carefully come let's read this poem a time to believe to believe is to know that every day is a new beginning is to trust that miracles happen and dreams really do come true children we are all working towards different things aren't we it may be as simple as you trying to solve a math sum or trying to do a lab experiment we try and try and try but many a times it may so happen that we may fail we may not be able to do a task very well what do we do then do we stop doing it do we leave it there itself no what we can do is start afresh take every day as a new chance think of every day positively that yes today is a new day and i will be able to solve the problem i will be able to do my task and miracles do happen it is possible that if we keep trying our dream may come true let me give you the example of the inventor of the light bulb do you know that thomas alva edison tried 1000 times and failed at making the light bulb but it was finally on his trial after that that he succeeded in making the light bulb so that gives us a message that if we keep trying and move towards perfection we can achieve our dream to believe is to see angels dancing among the clouds to know the wonder of a stardust sky and the wisdom of the man in the moon the poet tells us to imagine the poet asks us to let our dreams go wild and imagine even a more beautiful world a magical world in which there are angels dancing among the clouds there is a stardust sky the poet says that only if we believe that there is magic in this world that we will be able to achieve our dream and know the power that lies within us to believe is to know the value of a nurturing heart the innocence of a child's eyes and the beauty of an aging hand for it is through their teachings we learn to love 
apart from believing in ourselves and imagining a more beautiful world the poet also draws our attention to the people around us the poet asks us to value the nurturing hearts the caring friends and family members that we have around us the poet asks us to value the innocence of children the wisdom of our parents and elders and tells us that it is their love and care that teaches us how to love in life and that love also has a lot of value and we must believe in it to believe is to find the strength and courage that lies within us when it is time to pick up the pieces and begin again in life all of us are facing some or the other problem or challenge many a times when the problems increase way too much we feel that nothing is normal nothing is as it usually was we feel broken we lack motivation we lack hope that things will get better the poet tells us that at times like these we must pick up our strength and confidence and put the pieces together the poet says we can always find courage and strength within us and once again stand up and face our problems to believe is to know we are never alone that life is a gift and this is our time to cherish it the poet says that to believe is to know that we are never alone whenever we are faced with difficulty we always have our strength our courage that lies deep within us we have our family we have our friends we have our well wishers we always have our people around us we also have our own strength within us so we must never lose hope or confidence on ourselves life is a gift and we must always cherish it take care of it and hold it dearly with us we must enjoy life and make the most of it while it's there to believe is to know that wonderful surprises are just waiting to happen and all our hopes and dreams are within reach if only we believe the poet says life is a gift and there are wonderful surprises that are just waiting to happen and make your life even more beautiful but during this time all you need to do is believe in yourself and believe in your dream and keep working towards it children i hope you all liked the poem we just read now let us learn something new epigram is a figure of speech we will try to find more epigrams given in the poem but let us first try to understand what an epigram is let me give you one example to believe is to know that life is a gift this is an example of an epigram an epigram usually is a simple sentence that states a truth or a reality it's something that we use as a quote or saying like this there are many epigrams in the poem as part of the activity i request you all to once again read the poem and try to find 
such epigrams given in it. Okay, let's begin. Children, I hope you were able to find some more epigrams in the poem. Come, let me share with you a few of them that I found. To believe is to know that every day is a new beginning. Next epigram. The innocence of a child's eyes and the beauty of an aging hand. Next epigram. To believe is to find strength and courage that lies within us. Children, I hope you all liked the activity in which we learnt about epigrams, figures of speech and we tried to find epigrams from the poem. Now, let us do another simple activity. The poet tells us about believing in ourselves and about adopting different values. Let us try to find out what are the positive qualities the poet is asking us to adopt, to inculcate in our behavior. So, I would like you all to first make this diagram in your notebook. This is a mind map. In the mind map, we write the central idea in the center circle. So, here we write positive qualities in the center. Now, whichever positive qualities we come across in the poem, we will write it all around the circle. Let me give you one example. The poet asks us to trust in ourselves, to trust others. So, to trust is a positive quality that we must try to inculcate in ourselves. Please try to find out some more positive qualities given in the poem. Ok, let's start. Children, I hope you were able to find positive qualities given in the poem. Come, let me share with you a few positive qualities that I found. To trust, to believe, to value our parents and elders, to take each day as a new beginning, to cherish life. These are some of the positive qualities the poet asks us to inculcate in ourselves. Children, I hope you all liked today's session. Now it's time to sit back and relax while I tell you a wonderful story. Have you ever wondered what the weather is going to be like? 
is it going to be a windy day is it going to be a rainy day is it going to be a stormy day or is it going to be a pleasant sunny day many a times when we are making plans for a holiday or a trip we try to find out what the weather forecast is for the place we are traveling to we can know the weather forecast for the place where we stay and also of any place around the world because now we have different apps on our phones and also television news channels that tell us the weather forecast today we are going to read a story about a girl who is also very interested in learning about the weather forecast would you like to hear her story the name of the story is anna's extraordinary experiments with weather written by nandita jairaj anna was a little girl it was her special day today it was anna mani's birthday and there was a beautiful cake made especially for her fu 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 anna mani blew out the eight candles and her brothers and sisters shouted happy birthday anna anna had a big family and a big house on a hill she was very happy on her birthday and so was her family that celebrated with her but anna only had one wish would you want to know what her wish was come let me tell you anna received lots of presents when she opened one of her gifts she peered inside and she saw something sparkling she said diamond earrings i they are so expensive and useless anna did not want diamond earrings you know what she really wanted she wanted books books and more books anna's brother told her we have so many books at home but anna said i have read all of those anna's grandfather also said we have so many books in the library but anna had read those too so anna went to her room and said hmm It was Anna's birthday. She had phone calls coming. There were people at her door. The doorbell rang again, and everyone was wondering who had come. There was a box left at the door. Anna said, "Oh, no more silly jewelry." But when she opened the box, she found lots of books in it. It was a new encyclopedia set. Anna picked it up and took it to her room. She ran around the whole house hugging everyone. She was very happy. Years flew by and many 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 books later Anna grew up and found a job in a laboratory. The laboratory belonged to a great scientist. Anna asked him what do i need to do here and the scientist pointed to a box do you know what was inside the box this box too had diamonds in it anna wondered oh diamonds again but this time the diamonds were not for anna to wear the scientist wanted anna to find out why 
diamonds shine and how do they shine so anna had to read more books on diamonds anna was a scientist so she had to read many books and anna loved reading books anna liked to know more about things that shine apart from diamonds it was the sun that also shines and that caught anna's attention anna kept reading more books on the sun sunlight and weather books books and more books anna read many books and she conducted many experiments she was trying to create gadgets that can measure the weather of a place anna made many gadgets how sunny it is in bombay she made a gadget for that how windy it is in madras she also made a gadget to measure that anna's favorite gadget was ozone sonde ozone sonde had a balloon at the top and a machine at its bottom the machine measured the amount of ozone gas in the air ozone sondes fly really high do you know how many weather gadgets anna money built she built around 100 weather gadgets she also had her own factory to make weather gadgets it was as if she could build anything anna was a very well known weather scientist even when she grew older she loved reading books they were her best friends children did you like anna money's story how she loved books and how she made so many weather gadgets that one day she had her own factory i hope you all enjoyed the story of anna money and found her story inspiring children i hope you all liked today's session we read a wonderful poem that talked about believing in ourselves we also read the story of anna money and her extraordinary experiments with weather i hope this session filled you with a lot of inspiration please share anna money story with your friends till we meet next time please take care bye bye and stay safe